Hi, my name is Matthew and I am seven and a half years old. I live with my mum, my dad and my little sister. We have such fun together. When we aren't busy playing board games we take trips to the woods in our backyard. There are ropes that hang from the trees like vines that me and my sister love swinging on. We challenge each other to see who can swing the highest. I always win. My daddy put those ropes up for us, we love him very 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 much, we give him lots of special kisses because we love him very 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 much. I love my special family. I love my sweet loving sister whose hugs could melt sugar, and I love my daddy for being such a loving goofball always giving me tickles, and my mother, but my daddy is my favorite. My mother can sometimes feel a little blue, but she always cheers up when my sister and I dance for her. Last Christmas my daddy got me a puppet, it has strings attached to it that make it move and dance, one day I was playing with it when all of a sudden the strings got all tangled up and it wouldn't dance so I got mad and told it, you will obey me understood, but the puppet did not, so I had to get rid of it, at first daddy was sad but he understood that it had to be done, there are certain rules set in place and if someone breaks them, there has to be consequences. One night my sister and I were sleeping in our room when suddenly there was a spidery string of shadows crawling across the floor, increasing in size as it dragged its body from the floor to the wall. My sister was afraid but I wasn't. My daddy taught me that monsters don't want to hurt anybody they're just misunderstood they can't help the way they look or the way they act and so I approached the shadow and I said loudly I'm not afraid of you, I know you won't hurt me and then it scratched me across the face, but that's okay I understand, monsters can't help it. It. Daddy apologized to me and he made the pain go away, he said I shouldn't tell anyone because he doesn't want them to be afraid, he's right, he is always right. We had a pet dog, his name was Enzo, he was a cute husky, I loved him, but one day I woke up and I couldn't find him I asked my dad where he went and he said, he's in the backyard, so I rushed outside to see him, Enzo. Here boy. I yelled but there wasn't anything out there except a big lump in the ground that looked like mother's stomach, I went back inside and said, I can't find him. Daddy didn't answer me, I'm sure one day he will return. I'm writing this letter to showcase my amazing family, their lively displays of affection towards me is the reason I live, maybe one day I can make another family that will love me the way they do, if anything were to happen to them I would be heartbroken, if my sister perished who would keep me company at night, I think my daddy would, he always protects us, if he wasn't here I would probably end up dead, he is so lovable, my daddy, he doesn't mean the things he says, he knows he can be angry, and can say mean things, but he loves me, you know that right? all he wants is a loving family, I'm sorry, I didn't mean 